Hey, what's going on, TikTok? It's your boy, Brother Leon. I have a question, and this is a deconstruction piece. Where was God during the Black Codes? Where was God during Jim Crow? My question is, religion and Christianity, Western Christianity, at one point was having an outbreak of revival all over the land. There were healing revivals, miracle revivals, salvation revivals. My question is, to the revivalists, was there ever a time where God spoke to a man of God or a woman of God to tell their white brethren that Jim Crow was wrong, that slavery was wrong, that black codes were wrong? Some of these people who had the audacity to hold tent meetings, you held them in sundown towns, some of them. So my question is, is that how is it that you can have God and have a revival in a sundown town where if you were black, you had to get out of there before the sun went down or else you was going to end up dead? My question also is this. How is it that you can have men and women of God go to church on a Sunday morning and Sunday evening at times lynch somebody? Where was the conviction? So my question is this. Was God for black people then? Because if God is for the world, if God so loved the world, then why wasn't black people a part of that world? Even black people got baptized. They still wasn't able to be free. They served in churches and were never able to be free. They couldn't even worship the way that they wanted to worship in the Christian religion due to racism. That's why they formed the AME. So my question is this, where was God? Seriously, why did God allow this to happen? And why didn't somebody have enough courage to tell other white people this is wrong. Seriously. Do you think that God would be courageous enough to say, yo, y'all better chill or even give somebody a revelation that if we don't stop, we're going to go to hell? No. There's never been a white man on this planet afraid of going to hell. Especially if he's the one that using God to put people in chains. He's never afraid of going to hell. But he will put the fear of hell in you to keep you in chains. And we are in chains in our minds. We are in chains in our emotions. We are in chains in a spiritual system that will not let you go. Because you're always going to be following a master. And there's even black people who are quote unquote, working for a white master, <laughs> they just an overseer over you to make sure you don't come out of line, come out of pocket and really want to get your freedom. So you need to begin to think about, yo, is this for us? But I'm telling you right now, some of these people that you call trailblazers and follow their doctrine, they were very quiet when it came to black people. And that's the God knows truth because they thought of you as a slave. They looked at you as a dog. And that you wasn't worth nothing. And that's the God knows truth. So, where was God during Jim Crow? Where was God during Black Codes? Where was God at allowing these ministers to hold meetings in sundown towns? Where was God? I'm done. Think about it.